M0FXB. Yeah, I just realized that there's a new uh, firmware update for the Anytone 878. Uh, so I've got 1.21. I've checked it on the radio and I'm going to upgrade it to 1.22. So the first thing to do is I always come here to Bridgecom Systems. I'll put the link in the description. There it is there, firmware. So I've clicked that and then I got myself a, um, you know, a a file here which I'm going to extract to a folder that I've created on my desktop. I've uh, already checked my device, gone into the device manager and I found that my COM port, if I go to um, device manager GD32 um, so what we do now is right well sorry about that someone came to the door <laughs> so you can see here gd32 com5 so we know where our com is the radio is connected uh, we've got the cps file in in a file so now we're going to put it in go, no we're open up the the first thing i'll do actually is i'll read the radio um so i've the radio's all connected. I'm going to go read from radio now. Probably got to set the COM port first. Uh, set COM. Go to number five. Click OK. And now we're going to read the radio. So read from radio because I don't want to, you know, not have all my information. Once it reads, then we're going to put the radio back into, there you go, into firmware mode. So right, we've read the radio, so there's everything there that's on my radio. Now to put it into firmware, firmware mode, you have to hold down the PTT and the blue button or red button, I suppose, if you've got an 868. So you have to hold those two down and turn the radio on and then the red LED will start to flash. So we'll quickly do that. First thing you do is turn it off. Hold the two buttons. Right, we're in firmware mode. I'm just gonna make sure you can see that. Flashing away. Okay, so. Now you go to Tools, Firmware, and Icon Update. Open the file, which I put on the desktop, and uh, where is it? It's got to be here somewhere. Uh, did I put it in there? Right, just give me a minute to find it. They're staring me right in the face. 878 CPS. There's the firmware 1.22. Now, when you download this firmware, you do actually get the uh, programming software as well included because that changes. And I'm using it now. So just download that. So let's double click. Let's select the new firmware. Click OK. So it's saying that everything's good. Uh, so I'm just going to click right. And let's watch the radio. So it seems to be working. And then when, when it comes to the end and we reboot the radio, we'll turn it on, we'll go into settings, I'll do that in a sec, and you'll see that it's now ver version 1.22. Now, does it say what is included in that version? I will have a quick look before I end the video. We're doing it in real time, so skip past this if it's a bit boring. Right, get in there. Okay, so it says right complete. Click OK, and then we can exit that. Now we'll let the radio boot up.
Right, I'll take out the plug and then we'll look at the, the, the firmware version. So you go menu. Settings. Device info and then scroll down. And you can see that it's now on uh, version 1.22. So I hope this helps. 7.3, all the best.